guys, it's Miss Liz. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your own fizzing space moon rocks. So you only need a couple of ingredients. The first ingredient is baking soda. The second ingredient is water. And then to make it fizz, you're going to need some vinegar. Um, and I also have some food dye and some glitter to kind of spice it up a little bit, maybe make it look more spacey. So let's get started. What I'm gonna do first is I'm going to take a little bit of baking soda. You can really measure it out how much you want, um, depending on maybe how many kids are gonna do this. Um, maybe add different colors. Uh, you're gonna, so you're gonna add your baking soda. About one tablespoon very high-tech two tablespoons I'm gonna do three um, the recipe that I sent you guys you can do a couple cups um, it all again really depends on how much how many space balls you want <laughs> okay next is you are going to take your water and I'm gonna add some food dye and glitter to my water so I'm going to add two drops of blue and two drops of red and who can guess what color that's going to make blue and red together three two one purple good job so we're gonna have kind of like a purpley feel just added some glitter I'm gonna take my fork and stir that up a bit We have all this glitter, all this purple. You can kind of see it there. All right, so now I'm going to put some in my bowl. So what this is gonna do is this is gonna harden up the baking soda. So just go a little bit at a time. And I'm gonna use my fork to stir it around a little bit. And you want the baking soda and the water to kind of create a dough. So I already know that that is a lot of water so I'm gonna add some more baking soda um, and then you're gonna go back and forth on this as soon as you get like a nice uh, doughy consistency so I'm gonna add a lot more baking soda to this guy and the first time I did this um, I probably messed around with it um, maybe like five or six times just until I got the right consistency there you go so now we're starting to see it kind of turned into like a blue color a little bit um, a little less purple than I want but that's okay you can see the glitter in there it's getting kind of dough like this is actually almost perfect so you can add uh, more baking soda if it's watery you can add more water if it's a little bit too dry and then what you want to do next is you're gonna take like a little scoop you know put some in your hands and you're gonna make a ball type form it's still really wet and that's okay you can use um, cellophane to keep the shape together if you like and so there is a little moon rock <laughs> if I added some more baking soda it might um, retain its shape a little better too but I actually created some earlier so let me pull those out and we will finish the rest of the experiment with the already made ones So as soon as you're done making your um, space balls, you're gonna put them in the freezer for at least 30 minutes. Um, mine have been in there for a lot longer than 30 minutes. Um, let me show you. So they are pretty, <laughs> they're pretty stuck, but I made a whole bunch of different sizes. Um, and so let's see, we'll take, try to get one of them off. Make sure they don't stick to your plate like mine are. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, well, looks like we're gonna do the experiment on the plate and that's a-okay. Aha, got him. All right, so here is the finished moon rock. I'm gonna put it in a dish. You don't wanna put it on a plate because you're gonna add liquid and it's just gonna go everywhere. And you really don't wanna be smelling like vinegar, I bet. So I do not have a pipette. Um, 
to use, but what I'm gonna use instead is actually just a regular straw. Um, and I'm gonna create some pressure with the straw by putting it inside the vinegar. And then as soon as it's in, I'm gonna put my thumb over it. And what that, what that does is that creates some pe pressure to keep the liquid inside the straw. And then as soon as I let my thumb go, the liquid is actually gonna come out of the straw and go onto my moon rock. So instead of a pipette, this is a little bit of a different version, but it still works. Um, you can use um, a whole number of things to get the vinegar on there. This is just the easiest way for me. So I'm dipping it into my jug, very big jug, and I'm going to put my finger on top, lift it on out. All right, and now listen very, very, very carefully to this. Ready? You hear that? You hear some um, some fizzing going on there? There's some bubbles. We could see a little bit of it too. Let's see if we can do it again. Awesome. So what you can do is you can add a little bit or a lot. Um, I also suggested that maybe you can try um, other forms of acid to mess around with it. So I cut up some lemons. So I'm gonna squeeze them on. Let's see if we can hear, um, see if the lemons worked a little bit. Awesome, that's so cool. I wasn't sure if that was gonna work. Um, so you can try that with lemons, you can try it with limes, you can try it with oranges, um, any type of acid, and just have fun with it. You can you feel how cold it is because it's been in the freezer for such a long time, and it you really can't break it apart with your fingers. So all it takes is this liquid vinegar to break down the components, and then you get back to just some baking soda water and some vinegar. Um, but just a really cool science experiment to get really hands-on. Make sure you use your hands to knead the dough um, and to form uh, the balls that you're gonna use. Make sure you use your ears to listen to the chemical reaction that's occurring. Use your nose to smell the vinegar maybe. Um, use your tongue to taste the vinegar, taste the lemon. Taste a little bit of the baking soda and see how salty it is. Um, this is a really cool experiment to kind of just see all about the scientific method, um, create a hypothesis maybe of what other types of food you can use to melt this down. The list goes on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that experiment today. Um, this is for our space unit and I cannot wait to see you on Monday for our Zoom meeting. So have a really wonderful rest of your day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!